So this question looks like it's going to be a simplify question. Simplify questions are typically between one and three lines long and contain either an equation or an expression. In this case, we have an equation. So I'm gonna write down this equation. I have two thirds X. They have it as two X over three, but I like to think of it as two thirds X minus two equals, I'm gonna call that one third X um, plus one. Okay, so to simplify this, I want to combine like terms. I'm going to get my x's on the left-hand side, so I'm going to subtract a third x from both sides. And I want my numbers on the right-hand side, so I'm going to add 2 to both sides. In doing that, my 2's cross out, my 1 third x crosses out from there. 2 thirds x minus 1 third x is 1 third x. And 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. So to solve and get, or to isolate x, I should say, I'm going to multiply both sides by 3 over 1, right? Which is the same as multiplying by 3. I'm multiplying by 3 over 1 in order to cross cancel out the 1 third. That gets my x alone, and that leaves me with 3 times 3, which is 9. And therefore, the solution to this question is 9. But it's not 9 because the question's not asking for x, right? So I did that because so many students will just put 9 in because you've done all this work and you feel like, hey, I'm finished, right? But we must read the question carefully. The first rule to doing well on the math section of the SAT is to read the question carefully. The question says, what is the value of 2x, right? So we know x is equal to 9, but 2x, therefore, must be 9 times 2 which is 18. So our real answer here is 18.